first question is about your brother Ricky. Uh, Championship Wrestling has asked, you were paired with your brother Rick in Memphis in the Memphis Territory, and Ricky Morton was mostly paired with Ken Lucas. What are your recollections of the process by which those two teams were eventually dissolved, resulting in you and Ricky Morton getting together? Well, at the time, we were all in the same territory, but Ricky and Ken, they went on to Texas in the San Antonio Territory. Uh, and me and my brother were stayed together. We were together until probably 1981 when uh, he was involved in a a drunk a drunk driver hitting. Hit my brother caused caused his career to be over. They pronounced him dead on arrival, but he didn't die. Uh, I remember going to the emergency room, and uh, doctor I could hear my brother back here screaming and cussing. By that time, the, the doctor came out and says. Who's here with Mr. Gibson? I said, that's my brother. His name's Rick. He said, what does that guy do for a living? I said, he's a professional wrestler. He said, that's one tough SOB. He said, I know he had to do something like that. He said, he's got scars all over his body. He said, and right now from that accident, he said the emergency brake pedal went through his went through his knee and came out the other side. They had to cut the, they had to cut the uh, brake from the car, leaving it in his leg as they transported him to the hospital. Not only that, in his left arm, he had a steel rod where he broke his arm years before. And that rod during that wreck popped out and bent back like a horseshoe. Oh. So he had that rod in his knee, the other rod in his arm, and he was still conscious. And that guy said, that's one tough son of a gun. The average person would have done passed out. Mm. I take it he retired after the accident, or did he ever try and make a comeback? No, you could, you could never do it again. Hmm. You never do it again. He passed away in '06. Yeah, I know. It's a, a, a terrible, a terrible shame as well, because so many people, uh, including Ricky uh, Morton, said that your brother was could have been NWA World Champion. He was that talented. Well, he was when he was 20 years old. He was he was having a run with. Uh, First one he had a, had a run with was Bobby Shane. That's another story. And Bobby Shane loved him so much. Then Bobby passed away recently, right after right after him, he, he got my brother started. And then then Harley Race was watching him. Harley Race liked him so much, brought him out to Kansas City, and we're doing sixty minute matches with him. And and that was so good. They ended up doing. He ended up doing ninety minute matches with Rick Gibson. And he wanted to drop the title to him, but they felt he was too immature, only 20 years old, and he was still wild. <laughs> but as far as his performance, he, he, they said all the greats told me he was a natural. Yeah, absolutely. Um, somebody else asked, Would uh, sorry, uh, Wrestling782 has asked, would love to hear one story of Roberts and his brother Rick wrestling in the Memphis Territory or in the Pensacola Territory. Yeah, well, we started in Pensacola. That's my hometown. Pensacola. And then, then we went to, like I said, I went to Kansas City with him. And then we went to Memphis, and that's when we became the Gibson brothers. And uh, after that wreck, then Jerry Lawler calls us up, calls Ricky up, and brings us in. And that's how that's how we got started. Mm. Uh, we'll move on then. The next person here says, "The Harlocks three two two. Do you have any memories of the debut vignette you did for Mid South with I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett? Was that your Corvette in the music video?" No, it was Jerry Lawler's. <laughs> it was Jerry Lawler's. Do you remember filming the music video? Yes, sir. Yeah. What, uh, we, we did that. The gates and all that was at Lawler's house. Hmm. Yeah. Was, uh, to it was Jerry Lawler the master of the music video? Because, I mean, there was the really questionable ones at the time with the fabulous ones <laughs> as well that yeah. didn't age quite well. It, 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 all, it all was there. Fab started it. We was right behind them. Mm. And, you know, back then, we, we, we had to carry around these big old jukeboxes, you know, music boxes. Mm. And, uh, and, we, and we had to carry them every night everywhere we went because back then the promoters didn't want to pay the extra money to the buildings to use their sound system. <laughs> uh, so, so we had all, all the batteries in the box, and they stuck the mic to it. And the rest is history. <laughs> 